Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hitman. Uh, today I guess we're killing a food critic? Seems maybe like a disproportionate response to a bad review. Good evening, 47. Your target is Wen Tsai, the highly influential Southeast Asian food critic. He is notorious for his sadistic attention to detail and relentless criticism of the smallest errors. The client is the partner of a Singaporean chef driven to suicide by the target's cruel response to a bottle of over-chilled ice water. We have learned that the target will be at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok, where he plans to review that hotel's award-winning cuisine. Complicating matters, the target has recently retained a private security team in response to his increasing notoriety. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Okay, so there was some, inter uh, some interesting information there. Uh, it seems that the head chef is personally familiar with everybody who's on staff right now, who's on for this shift. So, kitchen disguise, maybe not too useful. Also, this guy sucks and extremely deserves to die. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that is an overreaction. But it's an overreaction I agree with now, so I'm fine with it. Uh, let's go, let's go for a nice tough look here. Santa? Santa's tough. Nah, you know what, I like this. Italian suit with gloves. I'm on vacation, I'm dressing fancy. Tough and fancy. So, obviously, remember, we're trying to we're trying to be a little bit more poetic here. And obviously, killing a food critic with poison has a certain level of you know there's there's a little something there. But given that the uh, the instigating incident here, the reason I was hired is an episode involving a bottle of ice water. Maybe we should. Maybe we should throw some kind of drink in his head. Maybe that's where the poetry is. I don't know. Napoleon, you're going to come with me and help me think. The whole way, the whole plan right there. Just imagine 47 kind of hunched over in his seat, secretively talking to his little Napoleon doll, staring daggers at anybody who, uh, who gives him a funny look. And then also, I don't think there's a lot of reason to bring a lockpick here. What do we need? We don't need coins, of course. We have an audio distraction already. We should probably just bring our own poison, I guess. And I mean, if if we're going to go the poison route, it of course has to be consumed poison. Can't be a syringe thing. And then smuggled item. I just clicked a little too quickly there. Jeez, I have no idea. Uh, what is even near the kitchen? You put something in the basement. Honestly, like, it's pretty easy to get to 47 Sweet. It's a little trickier to get out with something big, but... If I'm not bringing a sniper rifle, this is probably fine. Do I want to bring a sniper rifle? Yeah, you know, I can't imagine really needing any of this other stuff. Uh, do I have anything that's like kind of like a chilled ice water? I have a big sword. Can't really find a metaphor there. That's not gonna work. You know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have him deliver my nice big fancy uh, sniper rifle. I don't imagine we'll use it, but. Who knows? All right, elusive target. Of course, as always, the rules are, in case you're not familiar, uh, we only get one shot at this. We can restart the mission as long as we haven't accomplished the objective. But once either the target dies or I die, we're all in. So I think we can probably, uh, we can probably guess where he's going to be. I might have to watch the the cinematic again, but he's going to be in the kitchen area, right? He's testing the food. Kitchen and or restaurant area. We will find him, and then we'll come up with some kind of brilliant plan. The Poisoning the food almost seems too... Like, it's too straightforward. Right? Anybody could think of poisoning a food critic's food. I, that said, maybe there's something to that, you know, because it'll make... It'll be... It will not be obvious that a very strange professional hitman was called in for this, because anybody might think of that. I don't know. We'll see what's available. Good evening, 47. Welcome Our on-site intelligence has confirmed that the target has arrived at the restaurant and that his security team has already swept the area. Good hunting. Hey, did you check All right. the sites this morning? Apparently they found bank records. So, yeah. so the restaurant area is here. It did look like he was sitting in one of these style of chairs in the uh in the loading screen image there so maybe he's upstairs i think that's where they put all the fancy fancy guests 
Uh, sir, you can't go through here. Please turn around. Okay. Well, here's our dude. I mean, listen. We could totally just underhand Napoleon over this divider and be done with it. Somebody's gonna bring him food. Who's gonna bring him food? You're having a very important conversation over there about Abel de Silva. I just, I just cannot at this moment care about that. So the head chef, who is definitely in the kitchen right now, is going to see through our disguise if we try to use any normal disguise to get over there. Also, everybody's trying to have plot-relevant conversations all at the same time, and I can't hear myself think. It right, looks like there's nobody in the bathroom. I was kind of hoping we could uh, come in here and procure a disguise. We can make some noise in there and become hotel staff. Alright. I'm going to drop something on the ground. I'm going to drop uh, Napoleon on the ground. This is very open. And there's not really anywhere to hide a body in here. If we do decide to pull a guy in here... Okay. This room has something. So what do you think? If we, uh... Yeah, okay, there's just not one in this room for some reason. Alright, I'm gonna drop Napoleon in here. We're gonna have to open the doors, obviously. Who's this asshole? Inconvenient, that's who. You leave Mr. Blown Apart alone. He's a very important man. He does not have time for your tomfoolery. Okay. So in order for the uh, the guy here to hear him, all the doors between them are going to have to be open. Now it looks like it might just be too far away. Okay, well. How can you not hear that? We could just take him in this room, maybe, but I'm a little nervous about that, that guy seeing us out of the corner of his eye or something. So we might want to go and uh, try to pick up a second throwable. There's a bunch of coins on the ground outside. I guess I'll just go grab those real quick. People are trying, I guess, to throw coins from their balcony into the fountain out here? And trying to uh, make a wish? Tourists are real dumb and believe in wishes, I guess. That's not it. Here we go. Here we go. Me, I have selective hearing. I can tune out just about anything. Was there just one? Huh. Okay, well, one coin will usually do the job, right? We have certainly done worse with less. Huh. Will you please get down from there? Don't you want to keep reprimanding me? Come on, I'm right here. He doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So, again, we drop Napoleon. Now... Nope, not that. Not that. We throw a coin in here with the door open. This should pull the guy in. That. Okay, yeah, I got him. Hi. Oh. False alarm. Yep, now you want to go investigate that, because it's a very loud and weird noise. Who's playing orchestral music in the bathroom? Yep, no, that's my bad. Why don't you, uh, go ahead and pick that up? It's very loud and suspicious. Oh, sh shoot. That's not ideal. Uh. Everything's fine. I kind of like the, that music as a as a soundtrack to our subterfuge. It sort it makes a nice counterpoint. All right, I'm a waiter, so I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna ask that dude what he wants, and then he's gonna send me to the kitchen to get a thing, and then I'm gonna get him a great big plate of poison. Excuse me, hi, I'm uh, doing the thing. I work here. Like your life on it. Good job. Yeah, the thanks. That's... No life. How I agree. Did you remove all the texture from this. What 
is this? Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utterly cack all over it. Is that it? I have no idea if that's it. I don't know what you just said to me. Okay, you're... Do you want anything else, or... Because I could get you some... No? Hi, waiters how you doing? Be... Yeah, well, waiters. That's... That's very profound. Okay, so he likes to yell at me. I need to get a plate of food. But the head chef is going to know we're not the guy that we're pretending to be. How do I do this? Maybe I could distract him? Maybe Napoleon? Me and Napoleon could do our duo act again? Oh, he's on the phone. I'm not really sure I've seen you before. Uh, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom very badly. Right now, right this moment, immediately. Give it to me straight. 10%, 15%. Okay, we are hiding. You can see that guy on the map. He's the uh, the white circle that has the other circle around it. We'll try to figure out wh where we went for a little while. There's no way he's going to make it all the way into here, though. Yeah, okay, it looks like he's headed back into the kitchen. None of this. None of this looks like food that is going to be brought out to that critic. There's got to be a way to poison this guy, but also. Oh wait, wait! He's doing something. Is he going to get food? Maybe he needs to find a new person to berate. He's tired of yelling at everybody up there. His, his personal security does not follow him very closely when he comes down here. That's probably worth noting. Oh, that guy's coming out. Are you... okay. perpetrated here. That's the head chef. Run in here and hide. Certainly explain it. Only a blind man could perpetrate such a travesty. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> yeah, I heard about you. Now, see what they need. If my incompetent staff had thought to let me know you were coming, I, I would have arranged a special presentation. Oh, my dear Chef Bernard, I have seen more than enough already. Words cannot describe how I feel about There's you. There's an interactable cake right yes. there. I wonder if we could poison that and get it to eat Perhaps it, maybe? you might care to experience my famous prawn soup. No, I shall not be bought like some cheap travel blogger. I have standards. And you, Chef Bernard, are an offense to them all. I shall return to my table and await your next assault upon my senses. What about the spicy beef salad or... Some fresh insect nymphs from Nongkai. No. Shit. I hope he chokes on that. Hold on, I had an idea. Maybe while he's out here, down here and yelling at the chef, maybe we can interfere with the table that's, or the plate that's already on his table. Excuse me? No, I cannot. Uh, well, I could, I could certainly leave Napoleon here, although I don't know how to turn off the music. So maybe that's not that great of an idea.
He's still down here? He is still down here. Okay. Try to stay out of the head chef's eye line. Is he just going to go so back up to his to table? Hmm. Dude's going to yell at me about service. I'm going to body check the hell right out of him. No, everybody, everybody is noticing. A fire extinguisher is kind of like a really cold bottle. I'm going to take this, you know, just in case something should happen. Oh, that's the hotel manager. We should probably not be right there when she turns around. She uh, she is definitely going to know I don't work for her. Please go look for change somewhere else, all right? Yeah, scram, buddy. You have no idea how close you are right now. Okay, let's just hide for a second here. Okay. Hey, uh, any for Yeah, what's a decent tip, man? 10, 15 percent? Anyway, well, do I really have to repeat everything? No. Yes. I don't actually taste the food. I experience it. Don't you understand? Do you want a real big cake? It's vulgar to eat. That... I don't think that's right. I think this guy's problem is that he's confused about what eating is. All right, hold on. I have a brilliant idea. I'm going to put this right here. Sir, you need to pick that up now or we'll have to... Or we'll have to what? Do something. I'm the man in this town. You got nothing. Okay. So... So this is going to be, listen, listen, hear me out. This is going to be like an explosion of flavor, except without the flavor part, I'm going to blow them up. But, you know, listen, I've blown up a lot of guys. This time I'm going to blow them up, with, but not with like an explosive, with a fire extinguisher, because that makes sense and totally works. This is actually a location where I'm not super visible. Like, I just need to, uh, this lady's kind of a problem. That guy's kind of a problem. I think I'm going for it. The money has been wired to your account. Yeah. See, now he's now he's all over iced because fire. It's probably a chemical fire extinguisher. Right? They don't, they don't freeze the fire. Listen, it's kind of poetry. It's it's quickly performed, effective poetry with an explosion in it. Which is definitely the best kind of poetry. Was that Silent Assassin? That might have been Silent Assassin. I mean, I got seen, but then I did, uh, I did put the guy who saw me in a closet, which as we all know is an irrevocable condition. Oh, I might have gotten recorded by a security camera. I certainly didn't do anything about, uh, security camera footage. Yeah, okay, I was spotted. I was not, in fact, recorded, but I was spotted. Still, I feel pretty okay about that. That's a pretty good score. And we're not just killing bad people. Now we're making art. That is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm still enjoying these so much. I hope you guys are too. Come back next time, two weeks from now. We'll kill some other guy who probably barely deserves it. And we'll see you then.